Okay, fine, so she this is very dreamy. This is how Kelsey has been spending her time since arriving back home last Sunday, making waist beads from a kit she bought while in India. She doesn't know what draws her to do it, but maybe she likes seeing all these little parts come together in a satisfying result, just like her own cancer treatment. Just eight months ago, she was not the girl we see today, as she battled her third bout of acute lymphoblastic leukemia at just 12 years old. But after the kind donations from corporate TNT, Citizens, her mom's employer, A.S. Bryden, and the Children's Life Fund, she was able to go to India to have the chemotherapy and bone marrow transplant she needs to put the disease behind her. We had some rough times in India. Other than that, financially, um, the Lord provided, and we thank God for everyone who contributed. Her little sister, seven-year-old Kiana, was a 100% match and donated the bone marrow to save Kelsey. She too is grateful for the public support. It's okay, Adaniba. But perhaps most grateful is Kelsey. Thank you very much for helping me to go and do the bone marrow transplant. Her mother, Candice Moraldo, says Kelsey appears to have put the disease behind her for good as Tess remains promising. With her life saved, the family is now focusing on having her sitting off the SCA exam deferred so she can make up for lost time while battling the disease. Rashad Khan, CNC3 News.